and welcome to another episode of the iPad Lettering Show. I'm Karen from iPad Lettering and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can use clipping masks to colour in your beautiful lettering pieces. Let's start by creating a new canvas and the canvas that I'm using here is the watercolour canvas that comes with my real brush set. So it's just a simple canvas that I like to use and it creates beautiful colourful effects. The first brush that we are going to use is called Canvas Wash 2 and it's part of my brand new canvas set. So select the brush and then select the colour of your choice and then we're just going to colour in the background. So we're going to add a number of different colours and just to see how the canvas wash brush blends really nicely between the different colours. So now we're just going to keep painting, switching the colours and then just look at how nicely these colours blend on the canvas background. This is just so beautiful to watch and I really really love doing those changing colours and then just to see all the different blends that I can achieve. And then once you're finished, um, I'm going to show you another trick and that is switching to the smudging tool. And you can switch to the smudging tool by just holding the smudging tool button and then it's select the exact same brush that you would have used to paint. But now you can use it for smudging. And look at the beautiful effect that we can get now by using this brush with the smudging tool and just blending the colours together really, really nicely. And then once you're happy with your background, select the layers panel and the next part is quite important. So what you want to do now is on the thumbnail with your background tap on that and then select clipping mask. So what that does is it will clip the background to the layer that's below the background. So very important select clipping mask and then select the layer directly below the layer where you've painted your background and that's where we want to create our lettering piece on. And then select a different color. I'm choosing black here because that will create a really nice blend with the colors I've chosen before. And for the lettering you want to use the Furunosuke soft tip brush. This brush is part of the real brushes set and as you can see it creates a really nice contrast between the thin upstrokes and the thick downstrokes. It also has a little bit of a texture which creates really really beautiful letters. Now you can see here how the clipping masks now provides the colors to your lettering piece. Even though we're writing with the black color you can see the red and the gold and the green come through and it just creates this really really nice background. And there you have it. This is one way of using the clipping mask to create a beautiful background to your lettering piece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.